What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on the fun to play series, we're coming close to the end, honestly, like, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, wait, what, are those eyes off-centered? Wait a minute, Did, you got, yeah, I think they're supposed to be here and here, I just noticed that, that's a weird little bug, um, yeah, last time we got to what, like, death? Uh, 35 like we're getting closer i want to get to death 50 it is amazing that so few people have actually gotten to death 50 checkpoint considering us as free to play has almost done that ourselves there are some things we need to do though in preparation for that run so we're gonna do that today first off i just need to steal off gear off of everybody anybody that we see gear on i just need to take it from because we don't want gear on a single hero uh also just alter off these guys make some space okay so uh what we're gonna have to do here if we come over and take a look at our equipment bag we're gonna have to make a five star set of gear we cannot make a six star set we would need nine of each of these and uh we just don't have enough because even this it's like we'd make three full sets which would put this up to eight even if optimistically we were able to get to nine sets that's again three sets that's only additional yeah there's no way to get there so what we're going to have to do is number one we are going to have to forge a five star set of gear so let's go through this let's make one five star set of each of these that is going to cost some gold here it's a little bit annoying, but it is what it is right now. So we have the five star set of gear. Now what we need to do is we need to upgrade it to a six star set. It's going to be the really the only way. And that is going to take a big chunk of diamonds. Now, in order to go to the class set, the resident set, we are going to have to save up resources though. we're not quite there. We're almost there. We just need like one more day probably of gold and gems and we'll be in a good spot. Honestly, Oh, perfect timing. Um, I think tomorrow, right? You get five points for every, for uh, excluding complete. Yeah, we should get to the 500 or 50 million gold right here, which will be awesome. And I imagine we'll probably have enough gems by that point as well. Uh, we just claimed out this right here. The big influx of gems that we've received has been due to Void Vortex, which is just absolutely awesome. Uh, people have been clearing a lot of stuff for us which has been a significant amount of resources. So that does make me happy. As far as the event goes, we're pretty much done. Uh, we've pretty much invested everything we can. Although, hold on, wait a minute. Were we going to try to get to 70 here? I think that was going to give us like a 10 star. Not like we really need it. Is it worth pushing? Uh, we would need what? We're not going to do any more soul awakenings, I don't think. We would need... Four more points, which would be 40 more. I mean, what do we have in the bag? We do have 25. We could actually do them as well. So we're going to do a lot of random stuff here today, guys. Uh, don't know if any of these are going to be useful or not. Hey, we do get a fusion, which is cool. And we should be able to do... I guess we can just do these five as well, and that'll put us even closer to our end goal. Honestly, from the daily scrolls we get, being that it's a two-week event. Ooh, we got a Lord Bade right there. Um, wow, that was a long animation before I could skip that. Uh, okay, yeah, so we'll keep going. Uh, but, but, but where is it? Summoning prizes. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get to the core. Another 70 would be a lot, and we're trying not to spend any money. <sighs> yeah, it is what it is. What I've done today, as well as we've pushed the fighters competition as far as I can with the tickets. So sadly, that's as far as we're going to get. And uh, hopefully we have this completely done by the time we get to another monthly event here i don't think we're at what 97 right now we have a heart watcher in there i mean honestly it, it doesn't hurt to just smash this out and see what we can get for rewards i mean we do get some resources which is good i mean maybe we can finish that by the end of the month but again that doesn't really help us what i do want to try to do is push further in tower we're up to 600 now we finally got past that one wave that was really tricky we are up against Faith Blades, which are super annoying, so we're going to want to run our hero by himself so he doesn't just get nuked round one by all those active skills. Uh, taking two of them is fine. We want to, again, anytime we face a Faith Blade wave, we want to try to only face two actives in a single turn, or really just two of them in general. Uh, those two... Ooh, nope, nope, nope. Come on, come on. 
We need to dub them again. Oh no, this is starting to be too much damage, I feel like. Luckily, our healing is absolutely insane. I think we can survive this. Oh my god, we gotta kill some off. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> it's so close. My goodness. Um, I'm wondering if just putting like another hero in... I don't know if they can kill her in round one. Yeah, they do. Which, well, I mean, it is staggering actives, though. It does give us a little better chance. I don't know. I don't think that looks good. <laughs> I personally don't think that looks good. I wonder if we should go for more end of round healing and not care about getting stunned. That is a strategy we could do. Um, so what we could do here is we could change this over to resilience. And that way we're getting like a big old heal at the, every, at the end of every round between our natural heal and the resilience. That should be like almost a full bar of health like every single time. Ooh, we didn't CC any of them, which does mean we are going to proc and we stay stunned. Is that really a horrible thing? Is it? Is it? Maybe not. Maybe so. We'll see. Just watch our health bar. End of the round. Boom, way up there because of resilience, but uh, I don't know. Being stunned means we're putting less poison out there. I mean, maybe we should just chuck the whole team in. Because, like, kind of how it sits, it's not really working great. We are getting a decent amount of actives, though. Just we're not high rolling the CC and I really want the Rui Scepter, but again, we're gonna have to wait till the end of the week to get the lucky bonuses and stuff. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Um, okay, so, I mean, maybe we can afford to put the whole team in. It's just the Faith Blades are gonna do some work on us here in the first round. If, but then it's not guaranteed that they're gonna hit. And this is putting a lot more poison stacks out, which is good. It's like that's, ooh, I mean, that is kind of bad because that first Faith Blade hit literally procced us. But we do get a lot more potions. Maybe we go back to not needing to be, or getting the Purify for the stun that's going to be hitting us. I don't know, that kind of felt better. And we, like, we did high roll a lot more on these doves too. Don't quite get an active this round, but that's fine. We'll get it before they come out of doves this round. And yeah, I guess I guess having the team absorb some hits from those faith plays wasn't the worst thing in the world. So I'll take it. He just has an insane amount of healing. It really is crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Almost killing them off right there. There we go. All right. So we did get the W. Uh, Aiden's, huh? These could be tricky here. There's no CC, so again, sticking with the healing probably works good. Starlight actually getting a freeze off, which is kind of cool. I think we might just crush this, honestly. I'm not even going to watch it. I'm just going to start skipping some of these fights. I think we might make a decent amount of progress. Ooh, this wave is brutal, though. Um, Oh, God, the burns and the twines. I think I need to go back to CC Purify for those Oberons. Although, getting one of them frozen first round, kind of huge. It's just these stinking Valkyries are insane with the amount of damage they do. Maybe we need to try dot removal and just hope we don't get twined. Like, I feel like that's the only hope for us at this point. Somehow he's staying alive, though. It's just nuts. Um, maybe the dot purify will be better, and we can still just deal with any type of CC that we get hit with. That could be a possibility for a W here. I mean, we do get a lot more poison stacks out, and it does spread out the Valkyrie damage, too. There's no way we live. No. Uh, yeah, we'll just give it a couple smashes, see if we can get past it. If we can't, we can't. Not a big deal. We'll come back to it. Uh, but we are in the 600s, which is pretty, pretty cool. Let's go back to Control Purify. Actually, no, there's no glory challenges for us. I wonder if there's any achievements. Uh, that's not that easy to do. Went 100 times in Crystal Crown League, so we'll be getting those gems pretty easily. Probably getting up to 1,500. Is that our current ranking here? no that, that was a, that was a previous ranking okay um we have interdimensional arena no we're not going to do that we do kind of just need to keep hitting in trial of champion to see if we can get some additional points here 
just chuck anybody and everybody into these lineups to see if we can get w's here i don't again i don't think we're gonna finish out this quest today because well like i said it finishes today and i just don't think we're gonna have enough points to do it the one thing i do want to do is we've grinded out a lot in void vortex and we're on the final planet in forerunner again forerunner is the first difficulty we're still in forerunner but if we can get to pioneer that would be great the only downside here is the fact that there's multiple carries and we just don't do good against multi-carry teams um i kind of want to just replace some of these heroes the stuff that might tank better uh, let's see if this works because again the the carries seem to be the problem here and honestly even beyond that having double adas that we're going up against feels really bad I really want to push this, but I don't want to spend gems. I've already re-rolled this planet like three or four times, and we just have not found anything good whatsoever to actually fight against. That Garuda is going to be brutal. Please just don't hit my Holmes Young. Oh, it's going to be only the Holmes Young left over, too. Uh, my bad. I hit the mic right there, too. I don't think we have to worry about control. I think what we should worry about is Mark Purify. I wonder if we need to run him more offensive. Like, we could run, like, these offensive to give him a little bit more attack. Um, the monster, too. Yeah, give a few more levels in attack there. Let's see. Let's see. Because I really, really, really want to get out of Forerunner. That would be amazing. But being that we don't have much energy left over after our run here, it's going to feel a little bad. And I, honestly, it's like all these heroes just counter our Holmes Young so well. We can't get actives off from the carries. We're just... Dead in the water. Amon Ra has healing curses. Garuda has burst. Uh, Ada's lower the healing we get like going on here. So <sighs> I just don't think I don't think it's gonna be something we can do. Like as, as tanky as he is, these carries are gonna be the death of us because again we need to be able to dove the enemies, and then on top of that, the Amon Ra eventually only hits us, which is really bad because <laughs> then that means. Ah, oh, we just nuke ourselves with our own heal. And we can't keep her doved, really. Oh, jeez. We're not even going to get an active. And it hit our homes young. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Oh, this is so bad. We're so dead. Yeah, I don't think we can beat this planet in this form, so... Even just to re-roll it, it'd be 125 gems. I really don't want to do that. Is there a reward for getting past Forerunner? I don't know. Oh, we're about to get another uh, another core, which is awesome. Yeah, that gives us Stellar Shards, which is nice, but not gems. <sighs> I don't know. I think we're going to have to wait because I really want to prioritize getting our gear first and then maybe pushing. Uh, and then this isn't really a goal for us anyway. It's just a nice little perk to have if we can beat Forerunner. But one planet and really bad heroes makes it kind of difficult. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. If you're still playing along with the fun to play, let me know how far you guys have got so far. And I'll see you guys next time.